Now, yesterday, I talked about the immigration industry, filled with vested self-interested individuals lining their own pockets, wreaking havoc and misery on those of us left to pick, pick up the pieces. An industry of lawyers, charities and smugglers, all benefiting whilst we, the British taxpayers, pick up the tab and suffer the consequences. And today, the Daily Mail confirmed what you and I suspected all along. They're taking the proverbial. Despite the undercover reporter making it clear to the law firm that he was, has no reason to stay in the UK after arriving in a small boat, these firms readily provided him with what he needed to say to get his application through. One firm even providing a backstory that he was suicidal and on prescription drugs, of which he gave the name of and presented to him. So, so that he could actually stay in the UK. I mean, it's truly disgraceful. And that wasn't the only firm the undercover reporter went to. There were others. The Mail got hold of this because apparently staff at these firms were fed up of enabling the lawyers. They apparently, and I quote, readily agreed to help the undercover reporter who was posing as an economic migrant trying to get refugee status. One of the lawyers bragged about having a 90% success rate. If these lawyers are caught out, the punishment doesn't even stop some of them from practising. Mostly they face a few sanctions that it seems they can easily pass off and blame others. So basically, some of these lawyers were found to be coaching clients and inventing stories from anywhere between four to ten thousand pounds, enabling someone who should potentially be sent back to wherever it was they've come from to stay in this country. I wonder what the hashtag be kind group have got to say about that. The liberal elites, the Gary Linekers of this world that call people like me vile or tell the government that their language is akin to Nazi Germany are daring to call out what is happening, an invasion, facilitated by an industry of lawyers and smugglers. Cat got your tongue? Or care for Calais? Perhaps they'd care to comment? Sure. There are genuine people mixed up in all of this, but genuine people wouldn't need to be coached by lawyers. Suella Braveman has got a job on her hands, as I suspect this is just the tip of the iceberg.